I recently acquired this Fujinon W250 6.7 lens for my 8x10 camera. It's got an image circle of 398, which is uh, completely adequate to cover 8x10 with a good amount of movement. Uh, but when I got it, the lens, the, in, the inside of the elements are dirty, so I'm going to proceed to clean it here, and I thought I'd do a little video uh, just going over how to take it, the elements apart and clean them out. Obviously, the first thing that you want to do is be extremely careful doing this. I recommend that if you've never done this before, you, uh, you do it first on an older lens that you don't really necessarily care about just to be safe. It's not really that complicated, but you know, I'm really cautious when I take them apart. The first thing that you're going to need is a good spanner wrench. This is an Eastman Kodak spanner wrench. It just adjusts so that I can get the retaining rings off of the lens elements so I can remove the individual elements. I have no idea where I picked this up at. I've had it for years. I probably found it in a box of photographic stuff that um, that I acquired at some point in time, but I'm very careful not to lose it and always make sure where it is because it's a really good spanner wrench and it does the job that I need it to do very adequately. So let's begin here. I have a pair of white gloves that I like to use so that I'm not getting, uh, you know, for obvious reasons. And then I've cleaned my hands well. I've got a, a nice soft lens cleaning tissue. And I normally would have canned air, but I seem to have run out of it, but that's okay. So we'll proceed. Uh, so the first thing that I will do is remove the elements from the shutter. Now when I do this, the f especially the first time that I do this, I want to make sure that I'm very careful when I remove it in case there's any spacers in the lens so that I make sure to keep the order and where those spacers are. Not all lenses have spacers, but I've learned from experience that a spacer can just fall out. And this particular lens has no spacer on the, um, the front element, so that's good. I've just got a paper towel down here, a clean paper towel. You can use anything just as long as it's not rubbing up against anything that could da damage the elements. So now I'm going to remove the rear element and there are no spacers there. This is just the retaining ring uh, so uh, to mount it onto a lens board. So now I've got the elements. I'm going to set the shutter aside. I've already tested the shutter out. It was firing on all of the uh, shutter speeds and the f-stop was smooth and there were no oil on the blade so that wor worked out well and I don't have to do anything to that specifically. So I'll set that to the side and I'll put on my gloves. Now <clears throat> the retaining rings on large format lenses are sometimes hard to break at first and I've already pre-done these so you need to be careful but in here are two little um, indents that the spanner wrench will go into and it will allow me to twist out the retaining ring and like I said this is uh, the, the rear element one was quite difficult because it was very frozen in there and I had to twist it pretty hard and the problem that you want to make sure of is that you don't slip and then accidentally um, scratch one of your lens elements that's probably the worst possible thing that could happen so but as I said it will twist out of here easily now because I've already broke it but you want to be really careful when you do this so that you don't accidentally slip there I slipped a little bit but as long as I don't hit the front element. And I'll twist this now. And there, I can obviously feel that there's some gunk in there from over the, the years. And so what, again, what I'm doing is there's this internal dust specks and so a little bit of cloudiness inside of the lens elements that just needs to be cleaned out. twisting this and then I will twist it by hand here the rest of the way so. 
Actually, this retaining ring is quite deep. I'm surprised. Normally, they're not this deep. So there, I've got the retaining ring out now. Now, of course, once you drop the lens elements out, that is very important that you um, make sure that you note the order that they go in. Uh, there's probably only two in there or so, but obviously you don't want them to fall out and hit anything, uh, get damaged. I'm going to move the other, the rear element out of the way now. And I'm going to carefully tip the lens. I'm going to sort of put my finger in there so it just doesn't plop out right away. I'm just going to gently sort of tap it, and there it is. So now the front part of the lens has come out, and I'm just going to simply clean it with my cloth there. There's no grit or anything. Like I said, I would blow this with canned air. Um, but I don't seem to have any. So uh, the inside of the lens elements is my main concern right now. I can of course clean the outside of the lens elements while it's put all together. This one only has, looks like it has two elements in there. Some have more. Okay, so I'll just set that off to the side. And we'll look at this. Everything looks good in there. We haven't lost any, there's no paint loss really on the edges and stuff like that. So the glass looks pretty good. I'm happy about that. And then this one here, I could remove this by twisting out the, the ret rear retaining ring here on the back, but I don't think I'll need to because I can get both sides of it. Now that it's opened up there, I can get into the inside. So I'll clean that out. And that looks really nice and clean now. There was only a few dust specks in there. And as I said, a little bit of uh, fogging. So not really going to take that long. But I thought since I was taking the time to clean them out, I might as well do a little video on it. So that you can see how to do it yourself if you want. So I'm just examining the, um, the inside of it here. And that looks good. So that was... That one's done, and I will put it back together now. So don't be afraid to do this. Um, it's really not that hard. I think that a lot of times people are really nervous to take apart their their, their lenses. Now, obviously, you know, <clears throat> medium format, 35 millimeter, those get complicated. But large format lenses are honestly some of the easiest lenses to. Uh, take apart and clean out. So I'm going to sort of hold this upside down and then gently place it back in now. Making sure there's nothing in there. Let it seat into place though. That's care that's that's something you got to be really conscientious about is making sure that it's seated it's it is seated down in the exact same way it came out. And then before I put the retaining ring back on, I will examine it some more making sure that I didn't miss anything. Like right now, it looks like there's a little hair that's in there still. Yeah, there's a hair in there, so I'm gonna have to take it apart again. It's just important to take your time when doing this. I mean, there's no rush. You only wanna really have to do this once or twice. You don't wanna have to do this several times. This is where my canned air would come in handy because a little tiny hair would, uh, should be would, would be easy to clean out if I had had my canned air. I'm actually blowing on it now, which I guess just avoid any moisture getting in there. So now I'll put it back together carefully. Again, making sure it's seated. Don't force it. You might have to coax it back into to its place, but just don't necessarily force it in. Okay, yeah, see this is not quite going in right. Yeah. Trying to get it back out now, okay. So I'm tempted just to push it down in there, but 
that would probably be the worst thing that you could do. So do not just push it back down in. But this one is pretty, pretty tight. Usually sometimes they just fall into place. I think I've got it there. Okay, there we go. So now it's down in nicely. Obviously with my gloves I'm making sure just to push, not to move around on them because I don't necessarily, I want to make sure to avoid scratching the lens. Okay, we'll examine it one more time. And that looks pretty good. So I am now going to put the retaining ring back on. I'll wipe out the grooves a little bit, making sure not to, there's nothing in those grooves, no dirt or anything. And it's nice and clean there. So now I will carefully begin to screw that back on. A lot of times when I'm doing this, I'll take off a glove for a little bit more tactile sensibility because those threads are really fine make sure that they seat in there just just right so again we'll take my time make sure that I'm not causing any problem there cross threading or anything and this can get a little annoying because it's not quite grabbing on to the place so just be patient so there we are now we're and we're back in to the threading there. Let's clean this off real quick before I go all the way down. And I just screw it down by hand to start. Um, and then I will um, tighten it down with the spanner wrench when I get closer there. And again, just Take your time. I know I keep saying that, but the truth is, is that it's very important that you don't slip and scratch your element. It would defeat the entire purpose of what we're doing here. there. Now the Fujinon, I, I didn't address this, they're, the Fujinon lenses a lot of times, well there's, there's two different types. The ones that usually have the wider angle are the ones with, well let me tighten this first here. Okay so that's good and tight. The Fujinon lenses with the writing inside of the uh, the lens rim here are usually the ones that are have the wider image circle that cover 8 by 10 oftentimes. <clears throat> so I'll put this back into the shutter now. Give it one last assessment. Yep, that looks good. All the little specks are gone. So I'll screw this back into the shutter. And then what I would do would repeat the process on the rear element here so that you know it just goes the same way this one does not have a retaining ring on the back so I expect the lens element just to come out there but again you would just loosen this retaining ring here remove the elements like I did to the front element there clean it out put it all back carefully and then put it back into your shutter so um, I'm not going to do this one now because obviously the procedure is the same but then just put it back into the shutter itself and then you're done so now I'll do this one without the video camera going but uh, I hope this you found this helpful and that uh, it helps you when you need to take apart your uh, large format lenses and clean them out <laughs>